Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I am back with another video. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. We do I do videos um, a couple of times a week. Um, or at least I try to, but I will at least produce maybe one or two videos a week uh, for people's viewing pleasure. So it's uh, nighttime out, so I normally don't do videos at night uh, because I I don't know I just I just don't like doing videos at night. But I couldn't wait to uh, read this, and it is. Uh, is called Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor, uh, issue number one. Um, I believe this came out uh, two, maybe three months ago. I'm not exactly sure. Finally got around to reading it. Um, so I have Amazon's um, comic book service where I go and I can get comics and read them on my Kindle. And I actually did read the first time that Jane Foster was had... Milner and was using it and this was when she had breast cancer and all this type of stuff and she became a Valkyrie at the end of the whole thing spoiler alert I should mention of that um, but in this one she is still a Valkyrie um, but Milner comes back to her and she once again uh, is in control of it so basically in this story uh, Thor has vanished nobody knows where he's at there's this war that's about to brew, and uh, so Milner comes to Jane, and she once again, uh, once again wilts it. So uh, she doesn't call herself Thor in this. Uh, she never called herself Thor, <laughs> um, uh, and uh, you know, she's she calls her, she's a Valkyrie, so she's considered a Valkyrie. Uh, she just wields Milner in this issue. And the the art is really, really beautiful. I really like the penciling and the ink. It's really nice. I do like the fact is that these are two separate entities. Jane Foster as the Valkyrie and, of course, Thor as the missing person. And um, it's just, it's a really nice issue. Uh... The action is kind of low, not really, like, it's not really pumped up, uh, but the devastation is just, oh, it's there. I'm not saying it's off the wall, but it's there. But overall, I really did like the, uh, really did like it. Um, a couple of years ago, when uh, Marvel decided to uh, make Jane Foster the new wielder of Milner, a lot of heathens got really mad about that because Thor is a guy and you have a woman, Wilde Milner. And it's really interesting. They're big fans of the movie Thor. And on the hammer, it says specifically that whoever, whoever picks up, whoever is worthy to pick up this hammer shall have the powers of Thor. It does say they will become Thor is they will have the powers of Thor. So it really is an indication that the the hammer is not uh, doesn't just choose uh, men, it can choose women to wield it, but the only person who's ever been able to successfully wield Milner before Captain America was able to was Thor. But, um, like I said, it's a really great um, issue. Uh, it's really great to see Jane Foster wielding Milner again. I really did like the first time that she um, wielded it. It was really awesome. Got big kicks over it. Um, but, as I said, it's, uh, it's really great. Um, I can't read who is in charge of the comic book because it's dark. And I don't have really good light in here. But uh, when I do my second one, I will do it during the daytime so I can read the name on the comic book. But I did pick up issue number three of Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor. And I will be doing a review of that once I do a review of um, the second one. Um, I still have a bunch of new comics to read through. And um, I was going to do... 
um, Dracolina, uh, but I really kind of wanted to sink my teeth into this issue and really get the foundation of what the uh, what the series is going to be about. Um, but yeah, like I said, I like the and I like the penciling. I like the ink. It's a really interesting story idea. Of like, where's Thor? What happened to him? Why is Jane Foster? Why did Milner come to Jane Foster? Like, you know, it's not like. Uh, he was unworthy to Will Milner ever again. Um, so, yeah, want to find out why, what happened to him. And, you know, we know that he's somewhere at the very end, there's this giant serpent with a big <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I am super looking forward to that. I do want to state that at some point in the future, I'm going to go to San Diego Comic Con. I don't know when I will be able to do that, but I will go to San Diego Comic-Con hopefully sometime in the future. It's just that um, next year I'm going to Chicago for a steampunk convention, and I'm actually going to do video of it and post it, uh, uh, post it probably on here and everything. But, um, yeah, so I am, I am so looking forward to um, to that. Um, another thing is probably next month I will do a review. Uh, well, I should take it back. I probably won't do the review next month because I'm basically going to start rereading Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. And I am going, it's going to be a long time before I get to my new issue. And by the time I get to my new issue, it's going to be in my old issue. But, um, because I, I kind of want to be able to understand where Taro is in her life and everything. Um, but I will be doing uh, reviews of Taro, which is Black Rose, number one and number two, and all the ones that come after it, uh, probably at some point. <laughs> I have, I just have a lot of comics to get through, a lot of comics to get through. Because I order, I, I at least buy maybe like 11 or 12 comics every other week. So, but yeah. <laughs> um, but I will begin to that point uh, at some point. Um, another thing, I will start doing reviews of the steampunk, uh, sorry, not, sorry, Tarot, not Tarot. A steampunk uh, comic that I picked up uh, last month. And I actually have Volume 1, and I will be doing a review of that one probably towards the end of this month. Because uh, they just finished, uh, I think it was their sixth story arc. I think it was the sixth one. And I ended up having to get the collector's editions because I can't, well, if I want to spend a lot of money on eBay to get the issues, I could do it that way. But Amazon's got them. For cheap and I can actually um, read I can actually order them and read them and all that jazz so I am going to yeah so uh, I am sort of kind of hoping at the steampunk convention the comic book creators who are now working for image comics is there that would be really cool the theme for next year's uh, steampunk convention is the Fay. I am so super excited about it because it means that I can go to um, to Spirit Halloween, which is, I believe they officially open their doors next month and get my pointed ears. And um, I will be wearing those to the steampunk convention. Um, I also have a really nice uh, dress that looks very steampunky that I'm actually going to be purchasing. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So, I am going to see you guys run. Hope you guys have a really wonderful, wonderful remainder of your night. And until next time, nerds, read on.